Hello. Hello. My name is Pastor Tapani. I'm Hannah. And welcome to our Bible story time and sing along. In our last few videos, we were learning all about what Jesus began to do after he was baptized, and especially about how he helped people who were having trouble, who were ill, or who have been injured, and how he made them better. But the most important thing that Jesus came to do was to make us know God, and that he began to do by teaching. And so Jesus spent a lot of time talking to people all about God so that they would know who God is. Now, where do we find that teaching of Jesus today? We, where do we go so that we can learn what Jesus taught as well? We read the Bible and we go to church to hear the word of God. That's right. In the Bible, we've got a lot of the teaching of Jesus written down for us so that we can hear it again and we can read it for ourselves or we can get someone else to read it to us, and especially, as Hannah said, when we go to church, it's read to us and it's also explained to us. Now, today, we'd like to learn about how important it is that we hear what Jesus has to say and that everything that we do and that we think and we say is based on what Jesus has to say, is built on who Jesus is. We are called Christians because we are people who have become the people of God through Jesus Christ. And so his word makes us Christians and his word gives us faith in God and his word enables us to know and to understand God's will for our lives, how he wants to save us and how he wants us to live. And so one time Jesus sat down to teach the people. He gathered all his friends to him and lots and lots of people came together to hear Jesus' teaching. And he taught them lots of things, lots of different things about God's will, who God has made us to be and how God wants us to live. And then when he was, he'd finished teaching them, he said one more thing. He said that people who hear what he has to say and then believe it, and do it are like our wise people people who do the right thing they're like people who build a house and they do it well so that if there's a storm or a flood it doesn't fall down whereas people who don't listen to jesus people who don't pay attention to what he says and don't believe and do what jesus's word says are like foolish people silly people who build their house but they build it on sand now, Hannah, have you ever built anything on the beach? Yes, I have. Can we go to the beach now and see what you've built? Well, no, because it always just falls down or it gets washed away. Always get, well, gets washed away. Imagine building a, your house. You say, I'm going to build a house and building it on the beach. And what will happen when the tide comes in, when it rains or when there's a storm? It'll just all get washed away. That's right. And if we, if we live our lives not listening to Jesus, we're like foolish people. We are trying to live our lives, but it's not uh, secure. It's not built on anything that lasts because Jesus's word is always going to last it doesn't ever go away or change and so Jesus says listen to my word believe in my word and live your whole life listening to my word and you're like a wise man who built his house on a solid rock so that whatever comes whether we are ill or sad or we are well and happy whatever happens Jesus will always look after us because he does not change and he does not ever go away and he will never leave us. Do you know any songs about this, Hannah? I do. I know a really great song about building your house exactly where it should be. Would you like to learn a new song? Does he have good, does he have good actions? He has great actions. Okay, so... Are you going to sing it for us? So Hannah's going to sing this new song for us with the actions and then we're going to join in. So let's listen uh, to the song first. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. Get that? The wise man built his house upon the rock. 
lots of great actions. Let's see if we can build a really tall house. Are you ready to sing? And then there's a second verse which says a foolish, foolish man. man built his house upon the sand. sand and the house came tumbling down. So let's build a really tall house and make it stand on the rock that is Jesus and then we can see what happens if we are foolish and build a house on sand, not listening to Jesus. <laughs> The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down, and the floods came up. The rain came down, and the floods came up. The rain came down, and the floods came up, and the house did standing firm. But the We'll practice it for the uh, next few days as well. Now let's say a short prayer to thank Jesus for his word and ask that God will help us always to hear and to believe what Jesus has said to us in his word. So let's put our hands together, close our eyes and pray. Dear God, thank you that you sent Jesus into the world to be our saviour. Thank you for all that he taught us for bringing us God's word. Help us always to hear God's word, to believe it, and to build our whole lives on your word, so that we will always be your children. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. And so let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed this story. Join us again for our next story and we'll carry on singing this great new song of ours. Bye. Bye.